We had a big thunderstorm last night. It was right on us. This lightning strike was a little too close for comfort. That's our house right there. I'm not real happy about this big wound in our majestic oak tree here, but thank goodness this old tree was tall enough to take the strike for us. I would not have wanted it to hit our house, or for that matter, our chickens. I haven't moved anything around out here, so let me just show you how the debris scattered. It's, it's kind of impressive. Got chunks behind the tree. You can see damage way up there, kind of spiraling down a little bit. Right down to the ground. But this is the amazing part. Maybe you can tell how far I'm walking here, away from the tree. Look at this. And we've got pieces scattered around out here and these are big pieces uh, it would have been something to see I kind of wish I did see it but we were hunkered down in the basement at the time my expectation is that oak tree will survive. It looks a little ugly right now because the wound is so fresh. But take a look at this old pear tree. I believe this was a lightning strike from a long time ago. And this tree has survived. Clearly it's struggling and it's probably not as healthy as it would have been had it not been struck. But the wound kind of gets dark and sort of blends in with the rest of it so that from a distance it's not as noticeable as what that is right now. Here's another lightning strike. This one I believe is a little bit older but obviously not as old as that, that pear tree. You can kind of see how the bark heals itself as much as it can. All of this is insect prone and weakens the tree. Will kill some branches. But trees are resilient. You know, they, they're survivors. Right now I'm in the pasture. You can kind of see our, our house back there behind me. Some more fresh branches down out here. I kind of expected to see this, so that's not a big surprise. Looks like we've got some larger chunks of tree down here on the back side of our property. This stuff, and right back there, has fallen right across my access path, so I'm definitely going to have to take care of this later.
This monster has crushed right down on top of our fence, unfortunately. One good thing for us right now is we're not utilizing this part of the pasture for grazing. So having this fence temporarily out of commission isn't, isn't the end of the world. There's a significant gap underneath the bottom of a lot of this fence back here. So I'm using some of these larger log pieces to help plug the gap. For the most part, the damage out here from the storm a couple days ago was just making a mess. Things that would cost me time and a lot of effort to clean up. Unfortunately, we didn't get off scot-free. Lightning did fry all of the electrical stuff for our tractor barn over there. We've got an electrician out here helping us out to upgrade the system and make it a little more robust for us. So it may be hard to see, but right there is a scorch mark. I didn't see any lightning strikes around the trees or on the roof of this structure. The electrician thinks that the electricity from the lightning just traveled right through the ground and up and just knocked that system out. Here's a better look at those scorch marks. I am very glad that we did not have a fire. Fortunately, now with the upgrade, we have a ground rod up there to protect the system, and we're putting in a much bigger breaker box so. The electricity we'll have out there will be even better than what we had before. And here we are, 
Lights are working. So much nicer. Professional help with electrical work is not cheap, but we're grateful that it wasn't any worse than it was. I cut up the portion of this tree that was laying across the fence. So you can see some of the damage here. This T-post was bent completely over. Barbed wire has been snapped in a few places. I still have this major portion of the tree to take care of. But I'm getting there. I've laid out these branches. to take to our goats. They absolutely love branches and leaves and the little acorns. So it'll be a real treat for them. The trick is to not give it to them all at once. It's best to just give them a little bit at a time. That way they can appreciate it and actually finish off the leaves. It'll also help me by taking care of some of that volume. These pieces are ready to be shuffled underneath the fence over there. And these larger pieces right now make a nice border, but I think I've got something special in mind for this down the road. Phoenix blue. Striker, Clyde. <laughs> Striker's a little more interested in the girls over on the other side. Striker, <laughs> are you the smart one or are you a big dummy? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Remember, your dreams are closer than the moon. Thanks for taking this trip around the moon with us.